Welcome to the Ottawa branch of the Canadian Mental Health Association. We are delighted with the kind of attention that mental health and mental illness are receiving these days in our community and across our country. And for 61 years, CMHA Ottawa has dedicated itself to serving this community and to helping those with mental illness. Through that time, we have grown and gathered a dedicated group of professionals that serve their clients in this community. But every day, we are inspired by the perseverance and strength that we see in our clients and in our community. One of those clients who has persevered is Cheryl. I just feel that it's a really good agency, especially helping my dogs and my animals and helping myself. And, and without them, I wouldn't be here. So I'm really grateful that they're there. Because who would have thought like four years ago if I was like homeless and stuff? But now it's all over with and I came out of it and here I am going to college. Cheryl is one of 1,300 clients whose life has been touched through our programs and services in 2014. These activities and programs have helped many people in their recovery. They even have manicures and community kitchen, arts and crafts, exercise stuff, lots of stuff for, and activities for the clients, which is good. It keeps us occupied and motivated, and it'll keep us going for a long time. We have started several new programs, including Talk Today, a partnership with the Ontario Hockey League and CMHAs across Ontario. When you think that we've trained over 500 elite athletes and coaches across the province uh, in suicide prevention and general mental health awareness, uh, the rollout factor is unbelievable. If you ever need us for anything, don't hesitate to call. You understand that? So the response has been absolutely incredible. The Ottawa Sports and Entertainment Group has expressed interest in expanding this sort of program to their other sports franchises, the Ottawa Fury and the CFL Red Blacks. CMHA also worked with community partners to help people take care of their pets and quit smoking. I didn't realize how much my smoking was affecting my dogs. They started to cough. And then I realized I have to start smoking outside. I never thought that dogs would be affected. I, I could see humans, but I never thought of a dog. So I think this is a good program. I am interested in quitting uh, for my dogs, but for my own self also. Last year, we offered training to more than 1,700 people in English and in French. Alors, on offre euh, une grande variété de différentes formations, une variété de différents publics, d'un public plus général à des professionnels de la santé mentale. Euh, nos sujets de formation incluent la prévention du suicide, les troubles concomitants, l'entretien motivationnel, euh, et nos formations s'offrent en français et en anglais. We support people with mental health issues to speak about their experiences with high school students through our TAMI program. Research tells us that contact-based, or sharing our personal experiences, is the best way to reach youth and reduce stigma. What we've seen in our research of pre and post is that there is an increase in knowledge. The kids really like it and more importantly there's a reduction in stigmatized attitudes and an increase in social tolerance. Attitudes of respect and hope fill our interactions with clients. C'est une attitude positive, c'est de l'espoir simplement. C'est un, un, un une qualité et un respect euh, que c'est presque pas calculable. Euh, le, le niveau de respect, le niveau euh, d'écoute. We have also had a great financial year. Proud to report a solid financial year for CMHA Ottawa as a result of our dedicated team. Our revenues, our revenues grew by about 5% this year. We finished at about $17 million as a result of the Familiar Faces program. Our bottom line ended up at $185,000 of revenues in excess of expenses, allowing us some funds to invest into the future. Our balance sheet is in a very solid financial position, and I'm proud to report that our external auditors have given us a clean, unqualified audit opinion. Thank you to our funders and volunteers for their continued support.